This is a compound light microscope. You may recognize it from our classroom. Hopefully, you recognize some of the parts of this microscope from our previous video on microscopes. So first, I'm going to point out the base and the arm. So if we want to move the microscope, what we would do is we would pick it up from the arm and the base, and we would move it around like this. We do not fling around the microscope, and when we place it down, we make sure that all four feet are on the table. Hi, Freya. How are you doing today? Oh, nice to hear. Okay. Next, we have the ocular lens. Where is the ocular lens? Very good. The ocular lens is up here. And what do we do with the ocular lens? We look through it. Very good, excuse me, Freya. Now, if we look closely at the ocular lens here, you will see that it says 10X. That means that this lens right here magnifies objects 10 times their normal size. Next, we have the on and off switch. Turn the microscope on. When you turn the microscope on, this light turns on here. And when we turn the microscope off, the light turns off. Fancy that. So the first thing you should always do when you go to use a microscope is turn it on. Okay, I'm going to turn it off right now to conserve some battery power. The next part of our microscope is the revolving nose piece. Do you see why they might call it a revolving nose piece? It kind of looks like a nose and it revolves here, right? It goes in a circle. Each one of these things sticking down here each one of these is called an ocular lens. And each ocular lens has a different magnification written on it. So the largest has the number 40 written on it. So that means if we were just to look through this lens, it would make an object appear 40 times larger than it would with the naked eye. Combining this with the 10x of the ocular lens, we would do 10 times 40 is 400. So when you're using this microscope and you are using this objective lens to look at your sample, your sample will look 400 times larger than it does with the naked eye. We always start with the smallest objective lens pointing downwards. The smallest objective lens has a magnification of four. So if we were to do four X times 10 X of the ocular lens, that would give us a total magnification of four times 10 is 40. So 40 X. So when you have your sample here and this objective lens is pointing down and you look through the ocular lens, your sample will look 40 times larger than it would with the naked eye. Okay, next, since we're right here, this is the stage. The stage is where we put our slide. These are stage clips. See, they're just little clips. And when you put your slide on the stage, which I'll show you later, the slide goes under the clips and the clips hold them in place. Next we have the diaphragm. So the diaphragm is kind of under here. And from this side, here you can see 
there are some numbers. Three, two, one. Underneath, you will see five holes of different diameters. The diaphragm is used to vary the light that passes through the stage opening and helps to adjust both the contrast and resolution of a specimen. So you can rotate the diaphragm based upon, you know, whatever your sample looks like. If you think you need a little more light or a little less light. Okay, just always make sure that when you turn it, you hear the click. That means it's in place. We'll do it one more time. Okay, that same thing goes for the objective lenses. When you turn it, you have to wait for that click. One more, ready? Okay, we always start with the lowest objective lens pointing down. Now, we come to the coarse focus knob. So what do you notice is happening when I turn the coarse focus knob? Very good. The stage is moving up and down. And it's moving up and down quite a lot. When you first put your slide on the stage, and you've turned the microscope on, and you're on the lowest magnification, in order to bring your sample into focus, you are going to use the coarse focus knob. So you're gonna turn it until whatever you're looking at comes into focus. Now, once that's in focus, we wanna zoom in. So what would we do? Great. We would rotate the nose piece to the next highest objective and we'll listen for the click. Make sure it's clicked into place. From this point forward, we're only going to use the fine focus knob. So now when I turn the fine focus knob, what do you notice happening to the stage? Nothing really, right? It's moving the stage up and down, but very, very in small amounts. So we use the fine focus knob when we're using the larger magnifications because the fine focus knob fine tunes the focus. So once you have everything into focus under the smallest magnification with the coarse focus knob, when you zoom in, it should pretty much still be in focus, but you might have to make a couple adjustments. You just move it a little bit. Now, if you decide to go and start your slide on the highest magnification, you're never going to be able to get your sample in focus. Also, you have a very high chance of breaking your slide by slamming the stage into the objective lens. So that's a big no-no, so we're not going to do that. Always start on the lowest objective, get it into focus, Turn it. Do you see how I didn't lower the stage in between? Don't do that either, okay? And then you'll use the fine adjustment knob, bring it into focus. And then, last but not least, we'll turn it to the highest objective lens. And then once again, fine tune your focus here. And one last thing. When you turn on your microscope here and the light turns on, there is this knob right here. And when you turn this knob, if you look, it increases the brightness and decreases the brightness of the light. So this helps with contrast. Okay. 